Clinton taking a shot at President Trump while speaking in Selma, Alabama this weekend, saying he is causing a, quote, full-fledged crisis in our democracy. Clinton also coming up with a new excuse for why she lost in 2016. I was the first person who ran for president without the protection of the Voting Rights Act, and I will tell you, it makes a really big difference. It made a difference in Wisconsin, where the best studies that have been done said somewhere between 40 and 80,000 people were turned away from the polls because of the color of their skin, because of their age, because of whatever excuse could be made up to stop a fellow American citizen from voting. Dana, she's running. She's doing that <laughs> accent. I don't think she's going to actually run for president, but I also feel like the right needs to pay attention to this, um, these arguments about voting rights because, um, one, it's, it's people like her are going to rely on it to explain uh, why she didn't win. She, that, like, there's never been a thing from Hillary Clinton that said, I wish I would have done this. I wish I would have done that. It's always somebody else's fault, which I don't think is the best way to show leadership. Um, I also have to wonder, what is the crisis? Right? She says, we are a country in crisis. Like, where is it? And I know that there are Democrats who are so upset and they think there's a crisis, but every time that the president has walked up to a line that might actually get you to a place where you think, well, that's not constitutional, the system kicks in and says, oh, actually, okay, fine. He knows now he can't fire the, the mm -hmm. so-and-so. Well, um, the last thing I would say is the Clintons are not being sought after for advice this time around. We are entering a post-Clinton era, and it's very difficult. I know she's still popular with a certain part of the party, but I don't think that events like this and speeches, especially like that one, help them get past the 2016 law so that they could win again in the future. Well, I know plenty of people who voted for President Trump who disagree with some of his policies, who look at that woman and say, thank God she is not the President of the United States. In terms of the word crisis, Greg, uh, John Hickenlooper in his mm. tweet this morning used, used that word as well. Our country is in crisis and we need someone who knows how to bring people together and get things done. You don't tell people that if you're in a crisis. They either know it and there's nothing going on in this economy that suggests that. Well, okay, so I hope, and it's not going to happen, that historians will look back at this era of, let's say, 2016 to 2024 and see a profound manipulative hallucination right? Because you are looking at a period of economic uh, growth, record low unemployment in, in women, minorities, and teens. You, you're seeing what I would call, a, a, for most of the world, peace. We still have issues in the Middle East, but we're seeing peace. We've seen a, a demonstrated reduction in threat in North Korea, whether you like it or not. Um, but yet we are told to believe by a segment of society, the media and Democrats combined, that this country is under the control of a psychopath. So we are, we are, we are, engaged, we are, we are having a historic period of economic growth and low unemployment. People seem to be doing okay. If you turned off all politics, you wouldn't have any idea that we were living a life of hell. So it's, it's, it's kind of, when I said I hope that historians will look back and see this and talk about this thing, like they were talking about, I don't know, the, 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 a period of the tulips, a period of hysteria, <laughs> right? But I don't think they will because no. historians are part of the same club. The historians also believe right now that we are in a period of historical panic. And the thing is, it can't be possible because if it were possible, there, there would be war, there'd be chaos. But we see it every day. Things are pretty damn good. Not to everyone. Everyone doesn't feel okay, that Okay, oh, oh, just a uh, Smollett. I know no, things are bad right. for him. <laughs> but you discounting the fact that many people, myself included, no, 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 but I know I'm not what you like mean. a I know crazy person, right? I feel like we are in a crisis moment. Thank you, Jesse. We are in a, I hope that got picked up by the camera. In a crisis moment where our institutions are being tested in ways we haven't seen in many, many years. They have held... Tested? Tested institutions. Whoa. Okay, when you're the one on the original